But imagine like a library is a place where you can go and have access to books. Then a fab lab is a place where you can go and have access to the capacity for building things. So electronic things or 3D printed things, laser cut things. A machine that makes machines can be as simple as one machine that cuts out precise parts to make more machines. Um, and if one milling machine can make hundreds of parts a day, um, then you can see that machines that make machines can quickly grow exponentially. Um, imagine if I were uh, working with my grandmother and she needed a specific kind of um, orthotic device, you know, something to hold her wrist in place because she's, she has uh, um, arthritis. Uh, you know, how do you prototype something that is specifically for her wrist and that fits her well? There is something that a 3D printer makes a lot of sense for. So using kind of a, uh, the production capability of digital fabrication, um, but working with it so that you produce things that are extremely personally applicable is one of the strengths of digital fabrication machines. Um, and so yeah, no, it's not yet at the point where everything that you currently buy in a store is suddenly going to be replaced by things that you 3D print. But having access to the means of production um, even though you're not a company or an expert or something like that, is something, uh, is something that I think is going to be very powerful for, um, for creating technology that is personally relevant.